Okay. Uh, you might need to change and fix and redo your flowchart and wireframes after this lesson. Well, this, this doesn't mean you've done a bad job. Fixing and debugging, making it better is a traditional process of designing product. Yes, it's a design process. Today we are going through ugly lots of interaction principles and methods, so brace yourselves. As we all know, the last assignment was wireframe and information architecture. Today we are learning some interaction design principles. Um, interaction design and UX design are almost the same thing, but you can research more on that di on that difference later on on your own. The first is there are seven factors that influence user experience. The final product, whether it's a website or a TA machine screen with buttons or a video game, or it should be, it should be useful. Useful is um, if if a product isn't useful to someone, why would you want to bring it to a market? Choosing your lunch menu from a restaurant website or to withdraw your money from an ATM machine. Wait, you know that ATM stands for automatic teller machine, right? So does that mean we always say automatic teller machine machine when we say ATM machine? Hmm. Anyways, and even video games should be useful, like the game should be should help people improve hand eye coordination some problem solving skills like mystery detective games etc and then next is the second is product should be usable usability is concerned with enabling users to achieve their end objectives with a product efficient uh, efficient effectively and efficiently well, if the game requires uh, three hands when you have only two, it's a bit stu uh, stupid example, but you get the idea, right? People should be able to use the product with what they have. The next is the product should be findable. The product must be easy to find. And and the instance, uh, instance of digital and information products, the content within them must be easy to find too. Uh, find findability. Find ability is an essential usability consideration for all products, regardless of whether they are physical devices, systems, or websites. At fundamental level, if the user are unable to find things that they are looking for, they will simply abandon the product or service and look for a better alternative. The next is credibility. Uh, 21st century users can and leave in a ma matter of seconds and clicks unless you give them reason to stay, which means be creative. The fifth is des des desirability is about choosing Apple computer or Acer computer. Which would you choose? But I mean, if you have the money, desirability is conveyed in design through branding, image, identity, aesthetics and emotional design. The sixth is accessibility. It's about providing an experience which can be accessed by users with full range of abilities, hearing, vision, motion or learning impaired. We have talked about airport wayfinding signs previously. Uh, the final one is product uh, should be valuable. It must deliver value to the business which creates it and to the user who buys or uses it. Users would choose $1 product that solves $100 problem rather than $10 problem, wouldn't they? Okay. Of all those, you can say that usability is the, the most important criteria when it comes to designing and using a product. So let's see how people describe it. Well, um, this ISO standard on usability describes it as 
to extend uh, the extent to which a product can be used by specified users to achieve specific goals with effectiveness efficiency and satisfaction in a specified context of use usability is hence more than just about whether users can perform tasks easily it's also concerned with user satisfaction for for a website to be usable, it has to be engaging and aesthetically pleasing too. Well, the last sentence just summed up what we have just covered in the last slide, didn't it? Usability offers five criteria that uh, a product must meet as to be usable. It's an another checklist to check. The first is effectiveness. It's about if, um, whether users can complete their goals with high de degree of accuracy. Which means that the back button should go back, green button should go forward. There should be no error. The second is effect efficiency. It's about how fast can the user get the job done. How many steps, how many clicks or keystrokes. As we said, before 21st century people will leave your program if it's if it doesn't give the speed they want the third is engagement it's about the aesthetics but as you can see here i put being right is better than being nice design with the right color or layout in the right context is better than being just have a nice picture or color proper layouts readability uh, readable typography and Ease of navigation all come together to deliver the right interaction for the user and make it engaging. The fourth is error tolerance. It's about minimizing errors from occurring in the first place and to ensure that your users can easily recover from an error and get back to what they were doing. Like asking, are you sure to do this before leaving an uncompleted page or deleting a big file? And even you left the page, the program saves the process temporarily, like with our Microsoft Office programs, or even you deleted the picture, there, there is always the deleted picture folder in the Apple phones. Fo those would be the basic examples. The fifth is ease of learning. When you update your already released product, or uh, you should give the users how to use the update, or explain what the old update of downloading lots of things was about. Accommodating ease of learning when releasing a new functionality and features. Another exa uh, explanation of usability with less text. 